The default filter in Tableau doesn't have that many customization options. But by using a multi-value parameter, we can create our own custom checkbox filter like this. Since we'll be filtering by category, I'll create a parameter and call it category param. For the data type, I want it to be a string and I want to leave the current value empty. Then I'll create a calculative field and I'll call it checkbox select. In here, I'll type contains parentheses, the category param, comma, the category. This calculative field will return true when it's selected and false when it's not. I'll create another calculative field and I'll call it checkbox dash name. This first line I'm typing out checks if the parameter list already includes the category. If it does, then it replaces it with nothing. And if it doesn't, then it adds it to the list. So it's saying if the parameter list already includes the category, then remove it. Otherwise, add it. To build the structure, I'll type zero into the columns twice. And I'll add our category field to the rows. Under the first mark, I'm going to move the checkbox name and select underneath. And I want to change this to a shape. The select field returns true or false based on whether it's selected or not. So I want the shape to be determined based on that field. Under our second mark, I'll drag in our checkbox name field and category and change category to a label. And we want only the value, so I'm going to change the color to 0% with no border. And then I'll right click on one of our columns and I'll make it a dual axis. To get the positioning how you want it to be, you can mess around with the axes, but I found this custom positioning to work. So I'm going to edit the axis and do a custom range between negative 3 and 5. And then I'll edit the axis for the second one and give it a custom range between negative 1 and 5. So now we can see our shapes to the left of our labels. For formatting, I'm going to get rid of the headers for everything. And we're not using colors for this, so I'm going to remove the measure name coloring. And then I'll format the worksheet to remove the row and column divider. I also get rid of the zero lines for the sheet and the grid lines for the columns. And now I'll bring this onto our dashboard. I'll hide the title for the worksheet and resize it. And I want this to fill up our entire view. To add the functionality, I'll go to the Dashboard tab at the top and hit Actions. And I'll add a parameter action. I'm going to call this Checkbox Param. And for the source sheet, I only want to use the Checkbox Worksheet. I'll be targeting the category parameter and using Checkbox Name as the source field. And now when I click on one of the circles, it changes to a square. This is because I just turned the software value from false to true. Using the shapes legend, I'll edit the shapes and I'll choose a palette that I've loaded, but I have another video for how to load shapes. For false, I'll choose the empty box. And for true, I'll choose the one with the check mark in it. But now the toggles are super small, so I'm going to go back to the worksheet and increase the size using the size slider. Now when I click on one, it grays all the other ones out. So I'm going to go back to our worksheet and create a calculated field called true with the value true in it. I'll create another calculated field for false with the value false in it. And under the all marks, I'll drag these two fields in. Going back to the dashboard, I'll do dashboard actions again. And this time add a filter action. I'll call this checkbox no high. And for the source sheet, I just want it to be the checkbox. For the target sheet, I'll drop down and choose checkbox. I want the action to run on selecting it, and I want to show all values when the selection is cleared. 
For the selected fields, I'll do the source field as true and the target field as false. And now we can interact with it without having any highlighting. But it's not filtering the chart yet. So I'll go to the worksheet with our chart on it and drag checkbox select into the filters. And I'll set this to true. And now we have a custom checkbox filter that allows us to filter on any chart. 